Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, we will be discussing about multi group analysis part 2. This video is a continuation of multi group analysis part 1, where we discussed how to draw a structure equation model for multi group analysis. I will be using the same example in this video and discuss about critical ratios for differences. The example which I used in part 1 of multi group analysis is impact of education on annual income and impact of job experience on annual income between two groups of respondents that is male and females. I just execute the same example once again and show you the results quickly. I am seeing the output job experience impact on annual income of female is 0 0.6 and job impact job experience impact on annual income is 0 0.68. So, the difference is 0 0.08. Now, I want to know is this difference significant or not significant. To do this, we will be discussing about critical ratio of differences pairwise comparison. So, I will be having two pairs one estimate for male one estimate for female and I will be comparing between these two pairs this pair okay to do this one let me do the first setting I go for job experience impact on annual income for male first and I want to give it a name okay I want to call it as M and for female, I want to call it as F. So, you can see here for male, I am getting M impact. And for female, I am getting job experience on annual income as F. Now, in pairwise comparison, we will be knowing whether there is a significant difference between M and F. Okay. Now, I want to do a small setting in analysis properties. I go for analysis properties in output button tab. I am doing a small setting called critical ratios for differences. Okay. Now let me execute and proceed for analysis and let me see the output. Now this is what we got the same result we will be getting. Let me go for view text and in estimates we will be seeing for males here for males I got label as M and for females the label is F. Right and the question we have raised is is it difference significant or is the difference between male and female. To do this one, I am going to have a null hypothesis. I framed a null hypothesis like this. There is no difference between male and female group estimates of job experience on annual income. This is my null hypothesis. Okay. To accept or reject the null hypothesis, this is what we require. If the critical ratios for differences is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96, accept the null hypothesis, else do not accept the null hypothesis. So the value should lie between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96, then the null hypothesis, what we are assuming, we is accepted. Okay, let me go for the output. Let me go for pairwise comparison. 
pairwise parameter comparison. In this, I want to compare the pair of male and female where I labeled as F and M. M for male and F for female. So, in critical ratios for difference between parameters I am checking, the value is 0 0.217 which is lying between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 so according to the null hypothesis for rule decision rule i am accepting the null hypothesis it mean there is no difference between male and female estimate of job experience on annual income even male has 0 0.68 and female has 0 0.60 there is no difference between male group and female group. So this is a decision which we have come using pairwise parameter comparison and the critical ratios for difference between parameters. I think this information is useful for easily analyzing the data. Thank you.